What is plagiarism and how to avoid it? What is plagiarism? In short, plagiarism is the passing of another's work as your own. All of the following are considered plagiarism. Turning in someone else's work as your own. Copying words or ideas from someone else without giving credit. Failing to put a quotation in quotation marks. Giving incorrect information about the source of a quotation. Changing words but copying the sentence structure of a source without giving credit. And copying so many words or ideas from a source that it makes up the majority of your work, whether you give credit or not. Why should you care about plagiarism? Well, it's a serious academic offense and could lead to your failing in class or being suspended from school. Plagiarism falls into 10 different types. The first type is clone. That just means that you submit another, another's work word for word as your own. The number two type is called control C and that comes from the computer keyboard shortcut, control C for copy. So it contains significant portions of text from a single source without alterations. Then there's the find and replace. This is when you change keywords and phrases but still retain the essential content of the source. There is also the remix. This is when you paraphrase multiple sources but fit them together to make them appear like they're in one source. Number five is recycle. This is when you borrow generously from the writer's previous work without citing that. Number six is the hybrid. This is when you combine perfectly cited sources with copied passages that you do not cite. Number seven is the mashup. This is when you mix copied material from multiple sources. Number eight is a 404 error. This is when you include citations to non-existent or inaccurate information about your sources. Number nine is the aggregator. This includes citations to non-existent or inaccurate information about sources. And lastly is number 10, the retweet. This includes proper citation, but relies too closely on the text's original wording and or structure. There are a number of ways to prevent plagiarism, and we will discuss these at great length during the course. But for right now, think of these couple of things. First, consult with your instructor. If you're not sure if something is plagiarism, ask. Next, plan your paper. If you understand what is going on in your paper, you'll know what is your information and what are things that you need to cite. Take effective notes. Sometimes students do not intentionally plagiarize, but they don't know where the source came from originally, and their notes are too unclear to tell. If you are in doubt at all, cite your sources. Your instructors will never fault you for oversighting, so be sure you let people know where your information came from. Make it clear who said what. Know how to paraphrase. Paraphrase is putting another's words into your own. You still need to use in-text citations or signal phrases to let people know that it's not your own thoughts, but this is a great way to incorporate another's ideas into your own paper. Lastly, analyze and evaluate your sources. Many times students just add many different sources that semi-relate to their topic. If you take the time to really evaluate which ones will support your argument, you'll make sure that you have a lot of your own words in your paper. For more information, visit these following sites.